Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video is going to be a favorites video. I have not done one of these in forever, but I love watching them and I figured I might as well start doing them again. We'll see how this goes and if we like it then I'll keep doing it. <laughs> So right now I am home from school. I've been home for I guess four or five weeks now. Um, I took my first week that I was home off and then I started working. I've worked at Old Navy for a year and a little over a year now. So I just picked that um, back up and I also started an internship um, at Buckle which is a store in my mall. Um, but I have since then decided to stop doing the internship and just focus on working at Old Navy and now I have time to make YouTube videos so I'm really excited about that. What else is going on? I'm trying to plan a vacation to Canada right now. I finally got my passport so right now I just need to talk to my friend Inaz and figure out dates that would work for me to actually go up and visit her and you know when I can actually request off from work so it's a little bit difficult to find the right time but I will be buying a plane ticket soon and I will go see her this summer. It's gonna happen. <laughs> also, my hair, I just re-dyed my hair. Um, I've dyed my hair like a couple times over the past year and it's been this color <laughs> every single time, but it had just faded a ton. I always just like leave it and I suck at like maintaining it. So it had like faded back to my natural hair color, but I did it again and I love it. This dark kind of like auburny brown color with like the red hints in it. I really, really like it. So I actually have a lot of beauty favorites, so let's go ahead and get through them. So my first makeup product that I have is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I am obsessed with this stuff. I went into Sephora with the intention of getting Urban Decay All Nighter because that's like, you know, the classic favorite that everyone loves. But as I was looking at it, a worker came up and started talking to me and she was like, you really need to check out the Smashbox one, like that's my favorite. I, I've used both and I prefer the Smashbox one. So she convinced me and I decided to go ahead and get it and I love this stuff so, so much. When I do my long shifts at Old Navy, I need makeup that's gonna like last. And I buy drugstore, like CoverGirl foundation, so it doesn't always do that great of a job lasting the entire day. But when I use this baby, it lasts and it looks so nice. This stuff makes your foundation look like your skin and it just blends it. Like it just, ugh, it looks so perfect and beautiful and I love it. And it's perfect to throw in your bag and like halfway through the day, spray your face with it real quick and you automatically kind of just like look a little bit more like awake and like alive and your skin looks healthy. So this stuff is amazing. I love it so much. <laughs> Next, I have this concealer. This is the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous. Just basic, I guess, like under eye concealer. I haven't used an under eye concealer in ages. I am really lazy when it comes to makeup, so I always just did like foundation, like powder, bam. Like there was never a concealer, like every once in a while. But for the most part, I would just put a little bit more foundation if I felt like I needed extra coverage somewhere. But since buying this and using this, I have noticed a huge difference in just how my face looks. I look so much more awake and so much more like alive because I get dark circles like nobody's business. And this stuff is amazing. It blends out so well and it does such a nice job just giving me that kind of like awake look to my face. So this stuff, it's super cheap. It's probably, I know it's under $10, so I love this so, so much. Next, I have a blush, and blush is something that I'm very, like, wary of, just because I have such a red face, I have such a pink complexion, that blush scared me for the longest time, but I'm coming to the realization that I do need to put something on my face after I cover it all up with foundation or else I really look like a zombie. And so this has been my current favorite. This is the NYX Blush in Intuition. So it's just this really pretty natural um, pinky color, uh, a little bit more on like the tan side. It does have shimmer in it. It has a lot of shimmer in it um, and some kind of like bigger pieces like sparkles. So this is more of my like kind of like nighttime blush, I guess you could say. It's not an everyday blush. Like I'm not gonna wear this if I'm just gonna go hang out with people just because I don't like having like obvious like shimmer or glitter on my face, just my personal preference. But when I do go out with friends at night, this is the perfect blush for that. Um, it lasts, it doesn't look super pink on my face. It's a nice like 
natural looking color and the sh like shimmer sparkle that it does give at night is really pretty. So I've been trying to improve my skincare routine because I know that if my skin is better then like doing makeup is going to be easier. For me my biggest issue is just how red my skin is. I have really sensitive skin. So I've been doing, trying to take steps to kind of help combat like the sensitive red side of my skin and just I just want happy healthy skin that's, that's all I want I just want perfect skin something I picked up is the pixie glow tonic exfoliating toner I've heard really good things about this um, I love it I love this stuff it's great it does such a good job of just gently exfoliating your face I don't like to use harsh exfoliants every single day because it just kind of like I said I have sensitive skin and it is just too much for my skin to handle and it gets red and irritated um, but I do have dry skin too, so I do need to exfoliate. This is like the perfect balance because I can use it every day. It keeps my skin like looking healthy and not dull like it does if you need to exfoliate um, without making it like upset and sensitive. So this stuff has been great in just making my skin look healthier and um, a lot more like, I mean it's called glow tonic. I think it makes my skin look more glowy, so love this stuff. Another skincare duo I've been loving is by e.l.f. They actually have a skincare line. They've had it for a couple months now. I have a love-hate relationship with e.l.f. products because sometimes they're great and sometimes they're awful and it's really hard to know which one it's going to be. So I waited for the reviews to come out on the skincare line and most of them were pretty positive. So I went ahead and got it. I have the e.l.f. Nourishing Night Cream, the Daily Hydration Moisturizer, and I also went through um, the, it's like the daily like serum, the smoothing serum, that was the third thing I had. Um, I've used up the smoothing serum because I got that a while ago. I'm almost out of the nourishing night cream and I just went out um, a week ago and got the daily hydration moisturizer. I love all of these so much. Like I said, I have sensitive skin, dry skin, so this did an amazing job at um, at night. This is moisturizing but lightweight enough that I can, you know, put it on before I go to sleep. I wake up, my skin is moisturized and soft without feeling like gross and greasy. So this is what I use in the morning before I apply my makeup or just if I'm not going to wear makeup, this is just what I use daily. It's the Daily Hydration Moisturizer. This smells really nice. It is heavier than moisturizers that I've used, you know, for in the morning before. Normally, like daily morning moisturizers are a little bit on the lighter side. This is definitely thicker, it takes a little bit longer to absorb into your skin, but it doesn't leave like a greasy, like gross, heavy feeling finish. You just have to wait for it to fully, you know, get into your skin before you start trying to put on like makeup and stuff. Last for beauty, I have a body scrub and I swear by these body scrubs. They're by the brand Asquith in Somerset. The place I find them is TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Like, they're just, I don't know, that's the only place I've ever been able to find them. I can't really find them online either, so I guess just TJ Maxx and Marshalls carry them. They're six bucks for this like giant uh, sugar scrub. It is amazing what it has done for like the appearance of my skin. So my sensitive skin is not just limited to my face, my arms and legs, just my skin everywhere. It's sensitive, problems of being super pale, my skin is just, it hates me, okay? It hates me. But I fight back, and I fight back with this sugar scrub. It gets me the smoothest, softest legs and arms ever. It's perfect for the summer because in the summer you want to have those smooth, soft arms and legs. It is so moisturizing. It is amazing. This stuff, like, I can't explain how much I love it. I have a couple fashion favorites to share with you guys, just a few. So the big trend I have been obsessed with is the whole like lace up shirt dress, you know, top um, trend that's going on right now. This is one of my favorites right now, it's just this really comfy shirt, but I love that it has this detail so I feel like it's not as casual. Um, I have this other shirt from Forever 21. I wore both of these in my outfits of the week, um, my last video. And this also has the lace up detail, and I just love the look that it gives. It's just so effortlessly like cute. I got this other shirt from Romwe that has that same lace up detailing, um, but this shirt does not look, it doesn't fit well, it's not properly made. So I'm gonna do some alterations to that um, and make it look cute, and then <laughs> I really like that top, but that is a work in progress right now. My other fashion favorite are these shorts from American Eagle. 
These are the super stretch, what are they called? They're twill shorts, you know, the ones that they have in a ton of different colors. They are so soft. I had no idea how soft these shorts are. I got them in this dusty pink color in the midi length so I could wear them to work at Old Navy. But seriously, like I could sleep in these shorts. I could work out in these shorts. They are so comfortable. And I love this color too, especially like with cream or white. I think it's really pretty for the summer. Um, it's a nice mix up from like a classic, like, you know, denim or black. So I've been loving these. All right, that's all my favorites that I have for you guys this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of the kind of format of it, broken up into three sections. Um, this month I didn't have many like random favorites, but you know, in the months that I do have like food favorites or like art favorites or something like that, I might throw in a random section at the end. This month I just didn't really have anything that stood out to me that much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.